William Ramsey, you are a former director of the International Energy Agency, and I think now a professor at Sciences Po in Paris. Right. Um, now, I mean, your specialty obviously is energy. What do you see as the short to medium perspective for climate change, for combating climate change? The short to medium perspective. Well, the short uh, short perspective is being acted out in Lima right now, where a hundred and I don't know how many countries and ten thousand delegates are trying to find common cause. I'm not particularly optimistic that uh, one can do that in that kind of a form. I think if the political commitment is there by the countries, which we saw when Xi Jinping and Obama agreed on some some, some serious objectives, the political uh, will is there. We can find the solutions. The technology is there. We know the technology paths, we know some of what has to happen in the industry, but if we don't have the political will behind it, we can't convince our Congresses, our Diets, and our Dumas to do the right things. So medium term, let's say five to ten years, do we get to a point where it becomes even more economically and technologically difficult? Or does it, is it the political problem that every, still remains? Uh, every moment that passes, it's getting more expensive and more difficult politically. Uh, if in 10 years we haven't identified a path forward and if we haven't engaged that path forward, we're going to be well behind the eight ball and we'll pay the consequences later in time. And as the client scientists are, are increasingly concerned, uh, these modelings that we've been doing about the future, these sort of linear models, are probably exponential models and things are moving faster than we thought, Antarctic ice and things like that. So we don't have a lot of time to fool around. Uh, if you think that we only really had a 2,000 gigaton carbon budget from 1900, and we've already expended half of that, and the other half will be gone in the next 15 years. We'd better hurry. Final question. Which country has to move the most? Is it China, simply because of growing consumption and also the reliance on coal? I wouldn't put, uh, I wouldn't put a disproportionate burden on every country. They're all going to have trouble meeting their objectives. They're all different challenges in different places. The Chinese, of course, have got to meet their growth objectives. They depend on coal. If we don't find a way to use coal more effectively with carbon capture and storage and efficiency, then we're going to have to have many more renewables. Renewables are expensive. That's a burden on economies, rate payers. So every country is going to have its challenges, and we'll have to go about it their own way. William Ramsey, thank you very much indeed. My pleasure.